Hello and welcome to the Pickle Jar. My name is Josh and in today's video we're going to look at how to paint Space Marine Camo Cloaks. Hi guys, welcome to the video. So last week I put up a tutorial on how to do cracked lava bases. Now, I had a bit of response, and one of the questions that I got asked was how to paint uh, Scout's camouflage cloaks. So, I thought that I would show you how I've done mine, uh, so they match in with the cracked lava base. So, if you're doing any Scouts and using last week's technique, these will fit in fine. So, here we go with the tutorial. So, the first thing you want to do is take some Storm Vermin fur and give the cloak a full covering. You're going to want to thin this down and put a couple of thin coats on so it gives it a nice covering, don't leave any black showing underneath. And put this down as far down as you want the unactivated camouflage cloak to go. So I've got about halfway. Once you've done that, you take some dawn stone and you're going to want to start painting out uh, random geometric shapes. So I've gone with different triangles and things. Obviously the neater that you can do with these, the better it will look. You don't want to quite cover up the, all of the base coat, um, just cover up quite a lot of it. And once you've done this, you want to take some Celestra Grey and do the same thing again, but over the top of the base coat and the previous layer uh, of shapes. Just doing some more random shapes, again trying to keep them as neat and even as possible to get that nice effect. Once you've got all your shapes done, it's time to start working on the activated area down at the bottom. So I'm going with Mechrite Red and give it a nice covering so that it covers up all the undercoated black. So this is going to be my darkest red on this bottom area and what I'm doing is painting from the bottom up to where the cloak is not activated. Once I've got that base coat on and dry, I'm then adding a couple of spots where the cloak is activated in other areas. So one on the shoulder and one just on the back there. You don't have to do this, but it's a nice deviation from just being on the bottom. Once that coat's dry, I took some Evil Sun Scarlet and just laid that on top. I painted all apart from the deepest recessed areas of the cloak in this. Once that was on and dried, I took some Troll Slayer Orange and then proceeded to put that over the top of where I painted the Evil Sun Scarlet, leaving some of the red showing, but covering most of it in orange. What you're doing is building up from the deepest areas of the red right up to the highlights, so you're going to add some Ureal Yellow onto the very highlighted areas. Now you can make this quite messy because it's supposed to be a lava effect, so you can just splodge it on. You don't have to wait for each coat to fully dry because it will blend in with each other. Once that has all completely dried, you then want to take your Mordant Earth. And what you're going to do is apply this fairly thin, don't want to put it on too thick. If you saw my video last week, the thicker you apply this, the larger the cracks and chips appear. Now you don't want them too large because they will be they'll stand out too much on the cloak. So you want to put this on fairly thin, right up to the line, so it covers up all the, all the red, or the majority of the red. So one day later, and the crackle paint has now dried, so what I'm doing is painting the edge of the activated area. So I've taken some McCragger blue, and I'm just putting a thin line between the activated and unactivated area. Once I've painted this McCragger blue on, I'm going to take some Ureal yellow, and paint inside that just to highlight it a bit. 
And then what I'll do once that is on is I'll take some white scar and put a final highlight line on this area. Now at this point, my recording skills failed and this is the footage that I recorded, which was highly useful for the tutorial video on how to paint. I'm sure that a close up of my thumb will serve you immensely in undertaking your painting Despite my inability to record using my new camera stand, this is the finished product. I think it looks okay. The neater you can do this, the better. And this is what it looks like on one of my other guys who has the base done as well. So you can see it blends in really nicely. So there you go guys. That was how to paint a Space Marine Scouts camouflage cloak. Uh, you can use this method or you can use some of the other different uh, cracking paints that Games Workshop does depending on what sort of theme you're going with. You can obviously paint over the top of it so it matches your basing. It's a really nice easy technique and I really think that the effect of the cloak activating its camouflage element looks quite good. If you found this video helpful then please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below let me know your thoughts. And please get in touch if there's anything that you want to see a tutorial video on. If you're new to the pickle job, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date for all the videos that will be released in the future. That's all from me for this week and I'll see you next week with another video.